Hello, my name is Franka Erben. I work for the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. And I'm briefly going to talk about a new exciting project on low carbon innovation in China that's been funded by the Economics and Social Research Council in the UK. And I'm going to talk about the energy work package. Um, China is today the world's largest energy user and it also has the world's largest greenhouse gas emissions, particularly carbon dioxide, CO2, in absolute terms. But at the same time, China is investing a lot in low carbon, particularly renewable energy. And it is therefore really important and very interesting to see whether there are low carbon transitions in the energy sector in China. And this project is going to look particularly at solar energy with two contrasting case studies. One case study on solar photovoltaic PV systems and the other one on solar water heaters. Now solar water heaters are being used by about 30 million households in China. So it's a very large uptake of a technology that has mainly been developed in China on the domestic market. Whereas the solar PV cells are mainly being produced in China but then exported again abroad, particularly to the US and to Europe. So the question of the project is how low carbon energy transitions can be possible and how this relates to different innovation systems such as the photovoltaic model and the solar water heater model. And what we hope to get from this is an understanding of how low carbon transitions can be possible, how they also relate to socio-technical practices and the politics of these, and then on a broader perspective how they can lead to low carbon development at a national and a global level.